I don't ever want to see you, and I never want to miss you again. October 30th, approximately 7 a.m. I fed the forgotten kitties across the street. They know when, where, and on what days of the week to meet me. When I was a student at the University of Texas in Austin, I would check out CDs from the Fine Arts Library, about 5 or 10 every day. I would take them home, burn them on a laptop, and return them. I ended up downloading over 2,500 of their 10,000 albums. It was interesting the kind of CDs that were in their collection. There wasn't much pop. You couldn't find a Madonna or Taylor Swift CD. They only had one Nirvana album and no Metallica. There was a particular bar of altness, of non-mainstream, that you had to pass. I remember a few select CDs weren't even available to the general public, and these were short albums by artists that were about to come out, and their record labels had faith in them, so they strategically placed their CDs in the largest collection of any public university to try to create a buzz amongst the hipster college crowd. This is how I started listening to Beach House and Grimes all the way back in 2006 before anyone had ever heard of them. This was when Facebook first came out in the fall of 2006, and initially you needed a college ID or a college email address in order to get a Facebook account. This gave Facebook the aura the of exclusivity. Back in 2006, most college-type young people used Facebook and considered MySpace as quote-unquote lowbrow, and in a way they were right. Facebook was cleaner and less cluttered than MySpace. MySpace was, was tacky and cheap. You could list your music interest on Facebook at that time, and when you clicked on the band or artist's name, it would show you everyone else at your university that also listed them as a music favorite. I remember when Grimes first came out in 2006, only me and one other person at the University of Texas had them on their Facebook account. Having your Facebook directly connected to the, your university classmates is what it got started hot. Now, students could find information about any student in their class just by looking them up in the Austin, UT Austin Facebook directory. Within two years, I soon realized where Facebook was going and deleted mine in 2008. It's surprising it's taken the rest of the public this long to realize what I did back then. I'm Mr. G. Have